According to NASA, they have not found any conclusive evidence of advanced life. However, NASA has conducted many missions and projects that aim to search for signs of life beyond Earth. In addition, NASA has participated in numerous scientific studies and collaborations with international space agencies to search for signals from extraterrestrial civilizations, known as the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. While NASA has observed and recorded mysterious objects and many such phenomena over the years, they have said that they typically have plausible explanations, such as natural phenomena, aircraft, or satellites. NASA's planetary defense is a program designed to detect and mitigate potential threats from near-Earth objects, such as asteroids and comets, that could pose a risk of impact to our planet. However, every so often this defense system detects something unusual, and this is exactly what happened when it captured another sighting of an object that's become known as the Ezekiel Wheel. This isn't the first time that the object has been spotted, and each time footage makes its way online, users share their opinion on what they think it is. This discovery was made by the Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory camera, and it picked up on what some described as a large wheel traveling through our solar system. The discovery has been of particular interest, as over the last few years NASA has said they're interested in these mysterious aircrafts, saying that while NASA is not directly involved in investigating these sightings, it does collaborate with other agencies and organizations that are responsible for studying and analyzing such reports. For example, NASA works with the United States Air Force, which is responsible for investigating reports of unidentified objects in United States airspace. Those who've researched this object have said that it returns once or twice a year, but note that it could be more than this, as someone has to be actively looking at the footage in order to record it. Those who've seen the object soon gave it the name of the Ezekiel Wheel, and this description comes from the Book of Ezekiel. The Book of Ezekiel is a book of the Hebrew Bible and the Old Testament of the Christian Bible. It's named after the prophet Ezekiel, who is believed to have authored the book. The book of Ezekiel contains a series of prophetic visions and messages from God that were given to Ezekiel during his exile in Babylon in the 6th century BC. Ezekiel's wheel is a term used to refer to a vision described in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 1, in which the prophet Ezekiel saw a complex, otherworldly arrangement of wheels, eyes and wings in the sky. According to the description in the Bible, Ezekiel saw a whirlwind coming out of the north with a great cloud and a fire flashing back and forth. In the center of the fire was what appeared to be four living creatures, each with four faces and four wings. The creatures had the appearance of a man, a lion, an ox, and an eagle. Each creature was also accompanied by a wheel that intersected with other wheels. The description of Ezekiel's vision has been interpreted in many different ways, with some scholars suggesting that it is a symbolic representation of God's throne or the angelic realm. Others have suggested that the vision may have been the result of a mystical experience or a hallucination. The term Ezekiel's wheel has also been used in popular culture to refer to mysterious aircraft sightings and other paranormal phenomena, as some people have interpreted the vision as evidence of extraterrestrial visitation or advanced technology. It's for this reason that many who believe in the unknown have said that the sighting is of particular importance not only because we can see something physical, but because it's also in the shape of a well-detailed biblical account. Some people have interpreted certain passages in the Bible as references to mysterious aircrafts or encounters with advanced life. The pillar of fire and pillar of cloud that guided the Israelites during their exodus from Egypt in the book of Exodus chapter 13 has been interpreted by some as a description of a spacecraft. Although this mysterious object is interesting and keeps returning, NASA have said that they are well aware of the object and explain that it's nothing unusual. They said the following. Some people have noticed an odd shape, sort of a cross inside a circle, entering the field of view of the HI2 telescope on stereo. This was around the 20th February 2020. Eventually there is a cone shape that appears next to it, 
You can see the feature in question in this movie moving from right to left, just below on the right side of the image. The answer lies on the exact opposite side of the image. At the same time as this strange-looking feature starts being visible, the very bright planet Venus enters the field of view from the left. Notice that Venus and the feature stay in step almost exactly opposite each other across the middle of the detector. This is not a coincidence. The strange-looking geometrical object is actually an internal reflection of the planet Venus within the telescope optics. End quote. Scientists detect the ghostly signal that reveals the engine of the universe. When we make a discovery that inches us a little closer to being able to confirm a theory, it's thrilling. But when we uncover something monumental, it is truly revolutionary to the field, to our history and to our futures. Physics is a discipline that truly captures our understanding of the world. To advance our understanding of physics is to advance our understanding of everything we are surrounded by. In November of 2020, an article was published to the scientific journal Nature, in which scientists detailed their research where they detected, for the first time, neutrinos that can be traced back to carbon-nitrogen-oxygen fusion. Carbon-nitrogen-oxygen fusion, otherwise known as the CNO cycle, is a process that occurs inside the Sun. Whilst to those of us who do not know all too much about physics, this particle is a truly iconic moment that will not be forgotten anytime soon. This finding can confirm theories and predictions we have been guessing at since the 1930s. Giuachino Ranucci, a researcher at the Italian National Institute for Nuclear Physics, said it's really a breakthrough for solar and stellar physics. He has been one of the researchers tackling this project since it first began in 1990. Scientists were able to use the Borixino detector at the IFN's Gran Sasso Particle Physics Laboratory located in central Italy. This is an incredibly sensitive piece of equipment. It is the largest underground research center in the world and sits below the Apennine Mountains. The quest to hunt down this particle is the Borixino project, and uncovering the neutrino we have been looking for concludes decades of predictions and research. It has revealed to us the main nuclear reaction that most stars use to fuse hydrogen into helium. Most stars, including our very own Sun, emit massive amounts of energy by fusing hydrogen into helium. This is essentially a way to burn hydrogen. It is worth bearing in mind that hydrogen is the simplest and most abundant element in our universe, making it the main fuel source. For the Sun particularly, 99% of its energy comes from what is known as proton-proton fusion. This produces beryllium, lithium and boron before they are broken down into helium. It's not always this clear and straightforward. Our Sun is not very big, at least not in comparison to some of the other stars in the universe. It's worth noting that typically the larger the star, the hotter it is. These are therefore powered mostly by CNO fusion. CNO fusion keeps an endless loop between carbon, nitrogen and oxygen as to which atomic nuclei facilitates the fuse of hydrogen into helium. By our calculations, the CNO cycle is the primary type of fusion in the universe. Unfortunately for us, in the star closest to us, the Sun, this accounts for only 1% of its energy. The Borixino detector searches for neutrinos that are produced in the nuclear fusion process at the Sun's core. This is a difficult process due to how hard it is to detect neutrinos. Using neutrinos to study distant nuclear reactions is a preferable and ideal approach since neutrinos have very limited interactions, barely interacting with anything at all. To put into context how difficult it is to detect these elusive particles, trillions of neutrinos pass through the Borixino detector with each passing second, though only a few dozen are detected within an entire day. This is done by looking for small, faint flashes of light produced as they decay in a dark 300-ton tank of water. Having poured decades of research into this, it was not until the last five years that big strides were taken as the detector was made even more sensitive. This was done by blocking external sources of radioactivity. This makes the chamber of the Borixino detector the most radiation-free place on Earth. 
From this research, we can see the first ever piece of evidence confirming that the long hypothesized CNO cycle is taking place in the Sun and other stars. This can push us to uncover more about how the cores of our stars are composed, as well as a bit more behind the formation process of heavy stars. This one tiny type of particle that has been discovered has had a major, momentous impact upon the world of physics as we know it. Saturn radio signal puzzles astronomers. Astronomers are feeling a little baffled by the signals they are getting from Saturn. No, this is not angsty dating we are talking about, it's inconsistent radio signals. The northern and southern hemispheres of Saturn are sending natural radio wave signals that differ from one another. Not only that, but over time, Saturn's radio signals, which are regulated by the planet's rotation, change quite dramatically as time passes. This is possibly synchronized with the seasons of Saturn. Fellow gas giant Jupiter gave scientists the false confidence that they understood the radio wave patterns of other gas giants. Saturn is definitely proving them wrong because its radio wave signals are so different. Saturn kilometric radiation, or SKR, are the natural radio waves emitted by Saturn. They cannot be heard by the human ear, but when converted to the audio range we can hear, they sound like short bursts of a spinning air raid siren. But this noise varies with each rotation of the planet. Jupiter's steady radio wave pattern gave scientists the opportunity to measure its rotation rate. Saturn, on the other hand, is acting like an unpredictable toddler when it comes to handing over data that will allow its rotation rate to be measured. Other spacecraft, such as NASA's European Space Agency Ulysses Probe and Cassini, collected data that found the radio burst varied by seconds to minutes. In fact, Cassini, which stayed in Saturn's orbit from 2008 to 2017, observed that the radio emissions were in fact a duet and not solo emissions. But the two players in the duet are out of sync. The North Pole radio emissions have a repeat pattern of 10.6 hours, while the radio waves emitted from the South Pole repeat every 10.8 hours. However, even these times are not consistent, and it was shown that over time, Saturn's southern time period made a steady decrease while the northern time increased. Last March, the two came together at approximately 10.67 hours. Since the time of convergence, the southern SKR emissions have continued to decrease, and the northern ones have carried on increasing. So, what do you make of this interesting object that was captured by NASA, along with the other discoveries we've covered? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.